The mine planting flotilla consists of the mine planter, the distribution box boat, called the DB boat, and three small motor boats, called mine yawls. Number 10 mine is always planted first. It is prepared for planting by the port detail, normally consisting of eight men. The cable for number 10 is brought to the mine and connected to the loading wire by means of a watertight joint made in the same manner as was shown for the shore cable. The Turk's head on the cable is clamped to the mine cap and the cable is lashed to the mine bale with a heavy galvanized wire. Enough mooring rope is pulled out of the automatic anchor to permit it to be shackled to the eye of the mine bale. Meanwhile, the aft detail removed the lashings from the figure eight for number 10 mine. The mooring and raising ropes have been shackled in place. The assembled anchor and mine are raised by differential chain blocks on two davits. As soon as they clear the rail, they are swung outboard and lowered as close to the water as weather conditions permit. This is the mooring rope, which fastens the mine to the anchor. The mine and anchor are each supported by trip hooks which are made so that the end of the hook drops down when a lanyard is pulled, thereby permitting the mine and anchor to fall off. Locking pins, which are removed just before the mines are tripped, are provided to prevent accidental release. The end of the cable is passed to the DB boat by means of a heaving line tied to it. A second heaving line is made ready and used if the first throw fails to reach the DB boat. The crew of the DB boat quickly hauls the end of the cable aboard and lashes it to a cleat, but must never attach it to the distribution box until the mine has been dropped. The planter continues straight toward number 10 mine position with the cable paying out over its stern. The aft detail must be careful not to become entangled in the cable as they hold each loop clear and help irregularities over the rail. Figure eights must be turned a certain way in order to pay out smoothly like this. If the coil is turned the wrong way, a kink will form in every loop, causing snarls and bunching up making the cable extremely dangerous to handle.